Hi! It has been a while since I filmed an on my shelf video, so I figured it was time to do one again. I asked you guys on Twitter for two numbers. The first number will be the shelf, and the second number is the specific book on that shelf. So I went through all my shelves, there's some in my room, there's some in the living room, and I have a nice pile of books here. And the idea is that I will then talk about these books, whether I've read them or not, because there is a story behind every book. First numbers came from Jan Campbell, and they were 2 and 12, and 2 is actually my white shelf. And book number 12 is Quiet by Susan Cain. You actually probably can't see the title because it is embossed and a little bit shiny. And I actually got this book while I was doing my first internship at Penguin. And I actually went to Waterstones during that internship to take pictures of this book on display so we can post it on social media. And it is a book about introverts. I'm quite interested in reading about it because I think think that I'm an introvert. I'm fairly certain. People never believe me. My friend Malia, who does YouTube videos too, always says that she is a socialized introvert and I feel like that's what I am. Because without a doubt, I get my energy from being by myself. That's how I recharge. I don't mind being around people, but I usually enjoy hanging out with people one-on-one -on -one more. So I'm interested to read more about it because I don't know a lot about being introverted. But without having read it, one of the things I do really love about it is the way they designed this. The next number came from Papal Bina and she said 7-7. Seven, 7 Seven happens to be my graphic novel shelf. And the seventh book, who is giant, is Alice in Sunderland. I saw this on someone's channel once, that's why I bought it. I'm not sure who it was. It is an adaptation of Alice in Wonderland. Didn't realize that Sunderland is actually a place in England. It's just a crazy mix of illustrations and stories. Apparently I was using a a New York Metro card is my bookmark. I'm about a quarter into this. I think it might be a little bit too specific for me. It's a beautiful book. Now we'll finish it, but I think that I'm definitely gonna um, bring it to a charity shop after that because it's not really something I, I'm intending to keep. But this is sort of an example of what it looks like. The next we have Amy or Hector's and she said 1223 and it is Americana by Chimamanda and Gozi Adichie. This is a birthday present that I got from Lex who again also has a YouTube channel, link will be in the description. I have read Chimamanda's like TED talk summary I guess, just as a little book about feminism. I really want to read more diversely. I'm very aware that especially because of what I studied, I mostly read books set in England or set in the US. Um, this is actually set in Nigeria. It's been really high up my to read list but I haven't been able to get around to it yet. Then we have 2 and 15 and this is a section of my Penguin Modern Classics. And number 15 was a Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gap. Gatsby, which I have a video review for and this is a very good example of how books, for me at least, get better once I read them over and over again. So I've seen the film a couple of times, I've read the book, and I'm now sort of listening to the audiobook version. I just really enjoy nice quotable bits. Every time you hear that sentence, to me it gets more beautiful. Books never get boring to me. I think this is a good example of a book that I will love more and more over time the more I read it. And then finally, Lily Keller said 9 and 21, and that is this giant, and it is is a Dutch book called De Ontdekking van de Hemel by Harry Mulisch or as it is known in English, The Discovery of Heaven. I specifically ordered this book in the Netherlands because I really wanted to be part of my series of videos that are as of now non-existent but will happen in the future where I talk about Dutch literature that has been translated into English and want to read the English and the Dutch version, compare translations, but also just make sure that people know what amazing Dutch literature is actually available in English. This is one that a lot of kids read in school for their like literature list and it is pretty hefty. I think it's going to be quite an enjoyable read. It's really weird. There is a film, I think Stephen Fry is in it. I actually never read this when I was in school, not that I can remember. I am looking forward to reading this, but I have one other English translation of a Dutch book that I need to read first for the series. And then this, this might actually be the second one. The English edition looks gorgeous and I, I will buy that soon and show you guys too. Okay, so those were five random books from my shelves as selected by you guys. If this sounds like fun to you guys, I usually, at the end of these videos, I give you some numbers so you can do this yourself. So I'm gonna give you numbers for five books on your shelves and they are one and three, two and eight, six and one, eight and 15, three and 24. Of course, if you do make a video response, make sure to leave a link in the comments or send it to me on Twitter and I'll share all the links in my sort of video responses playlist that I have. If you haven't heard about this, by the way, usually when people make a video that is based on a video I've done or like a direct response, I add it to my playlist called video responses. So I'll put a link to that in the description in case you're interested in checking some of those out. I hope you enjoyed this video, a little peek behind the scenes and I will talk to you guys later. Doei!